right with the words that I've hidden in my heart. And just Holy Spirit, bring your words to my remembrance and help me to fight off the enemy. And I pray this over my friends watching. Would you help them to recognize the strategies of the enemy in their life? Help them to recognize, as Jonathan McReynolds sings, um, the devil, he learns from your mistakes, even if you don't. That's how he keeps you in cycles. <laughs> the devil has been watching us our whole lives and he knows where we um, struggle. So would you help my friends and I to recognize the enemy's strategy in our life and to fight off with your word, with the word of God? Your um, breath in our lungs. So we pour out our praise. We pour out our praise. It's your breath in our lungs. So we pour out our praise to you only. Great are you, Lord. I don't take that for granted. Great are you, Lord, and most worthy of praise. Father, I, I want to pray Ephesians 6 over us today. Um, because I know that the enemy of our souls would try to snuff us out, especially those of us that are walking closely with you. Today, this week, he would try to do everything in his power to stop us from walking with you. And so I just pray um, all of the pieces of armor that you say to put on every day. Lord, I want to start with the pieces that you say are part of our daily armor. So I put on the breastplate of righteousness and friends put this on the breastplate of righteousness. And with it, God, I ask that you would help us to recognize that we are already righteous, that you already say, honey, you're a saint. I've separated. I have called you. I've set you apart. And I say that you are righteous, um, not because of anything that you've done, but because you are covered in the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, that you call us righteous because of what you did. And so as we put this breastplate of righteousness on, Lord, I recognize that it's not something I have to do to strive to righteousness. I put on this breastplate and I thank you for already calling us righteous. And now, Lord, help us to live in such a way that stems from who we already are not that strives to be righteous, self-righteous. No, it's an impugned righteousness from you, Jesus. And so as we put on this breastplate, would you help us to guard our hearts? Would you help us to live in such a way that protects who you say that we already are? Or would you help us to um, live in a way that honors who you call us already? Father, we put on the belt of truth. That's been the part that has been most important to me lately because it's my core support. If I live from the core of truth, then I won't turn to the left or to the right. I won't be distracted by what I see around me. I will be locked into the truth of who you are and the truth of who you say that I am. That is my core support. It's like, <laughs> I feel like I'm doing crunches. Like I'm thinking about that belt. <laughs> That belt that is like an electromagnetic belt and it pulses my stomach and it helps me to um, do like a work crunches or something where I don't even feel like I'm doing it, but simply it's doing it for me. Lord, that is the belt of truth. You are, you are strengthening our core. You're strengthening truth around us. And there is so much falsehood swirling around us. So much fake news, as people say. So much um, deception. But Lord, with our core support being locked in with the belt of truth, we will live out of truth, not out of your truth, just out of truth, which is your truth. Um, this isn't my truth that I am living by. This is simply truth. And that is who you are. You, Jesus, are the way. You are truth. You are the life. And no one comes to the Father but through you. That is truth. And so would you help us, Lord, with this belt buckled around our waist to live from that place, from truth. In Jesus' name. God, we put on our feet, are fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. Oh, Father, I thank you for peace. 
Thank you for my friend Janine and her truth songs. It's why I know I can sing to you. Peace, peace I leave with you. My peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your heart be troubled. Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. Do not let your heart be troubled. Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. Because peace, peace I leave with you. Receive this, y'all. My peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Lord, I thank you for your peace. I thank you that my feet are guided by your peace. Lord, and I, with these shoes fitted with a gospel of peace, I'll do two things. One, I will take every step by your peace. If, you, if I'm walking in a direction where I don't feel your peace, Holy Spirit, I'm asking you, would you get my attention and help me to recognize, wait, I'm feeling some type of way, so let me not go in this direction. Would you, um, would you just guide us by your peace? Like you say in Colossians 3, um, let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, since as members of one body you were called to peace. Lord, you rule. Holy Spirit, you rule in our hearts with your peace. And if we don't feel peace with the decision that we're making, with the direction that we're going, would you help us to recognize that and to get back onto your path that leads to peace? So that's my first prayer with these shoes fitted with the gospel of peace. My second is that you would use us as ministers of reconciliation everywhere that we go this week. Would you help us to look to see where you're working? And then, Lord, would you give us the love to join you in that work? Even if we're afraid, if we know that you're saying, go to that person, say this, pray for this person, um, be it ask them if we can pray with them, or if it's simply just to pray something directly for them, would you help us to see where you are? And then Lord, we pray for your peace to follow you with the work that you're doing. We are ministers of reconciliation and we are living in dark times, but um, when when evil is rising, you're rising higher with power to save, with power to save. You have power to save and you want to use us as your ministers to do it. And so God, we say, here I am, send me. Lord, we want to be used as your ministers, calling out to this dark world, be reconciled to God. So would you help us to see that God? And would you help us to not live by fear, but with power, love, and a sound mind? That's what we want to do. Lord, I pray for opportunities to spread your gospel today. I pray that when I go into coffee shops and even as I'm driving to Alabama today, Lord, that I would see, I see God is working in that car. Or when I go to this celebration of life today, if I see somebody that I feel you're speaking something over, God, would you just give me the um, eyes to see where you're working so that I can join you in that. And then Father, I... As I put on those pieces um, that you say to wear every day, now I put on the pieces that you say to hold up when I come under attack. I will come under attack today because I'm simply walking with you. And Jesus, if you would come under attack, so will your people. So in those moments, I will hold up the shield of faith. God, to quote Beth Moore, and I thank you for her, bless her today, but um, to quote her, you are who you say you are. You can do what you say you can do. I am who you say I am. I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. Your word is alive and active in me. I'm believing you, God. So I will hold up that shield of faith and I will extinguish every fiery dart that the enemy shoots in my direction. I see his strategy, see where he's been working. I see the same things that I've been coming under attack with every single day of my life. And so I recognize those things and I thank you for giving me a strategy to defeat him. And that strategy is one, faith in you. It's impossible to please you without faith. And God, I wanna please you today. 
But the other strategy that you give me is the offensive weapon that I have, which is the sword of the spirit that is your word. So I thank you that I have hidden your word in my heart and that I may not sin against you. And so would you help me first to extinguish the fiery darts of the enemy with that shield of faith? Because I believe you, God. But then also help me to fight him with your word. It's what you did, Jesus, in Matthew 4. You simply said, it is written. You spoke the word of God out loud, and that is how you defeated the enemy. So that is how I'm going to do it today, too. Lord, would you help me to sharpen my sword of the spirit this morning as I study your word, as I hide even more of your word in my heart? I thank you that my word warriors, we are we're memorizing Ephesians 2.10 um, that says that we are a creation and that um, we are able to do things because you have already predestined them before the beginning of time. So help me to fight with the words that I've hidden in my heart. And just Holy Spirit, bring your words to my remembrance and help me to fight off the enemy. And I pray this over my friends watching. Would you help them to recognize the strategies of the enemy in their life? Help them to recognize, as Jonathan McReynolds sings, um, the devil, he learns from your mistakes, even if you don't. That's how he keeps you in cycles. <laughs> The devil has been watching us our whole lives and he knows where we um, struggle. So would you help my friends and I to recognize the enemy's strategy in our life and to fight off with your word, with the word of God? Um, yeah, that is my prayer. Help us to be very specific in which words we hide in our hearts. I know today I'll be tempted with food. And so I will fight with um, 1 Corinthians 10, 13. I will fight knowing that no temptation exists except what is common to man and that you are faithful as my alarm goes off. You are faithful. You will not allow me to be tempted beyond what I can bear. But when I'm tempted, you'll provide a way out so I can stand up under it. Yeah, that's how I will fight today with 1 Corinthians 10, 13 and all the other scriptures that you've hidden in my heart, that I've hidden in my heart because you've blessed me with your word. Lord, the last piece of armor that we use for protection against the enemy to fight off the enemy is the helmet of, of salvation. Would you help me to guard my thoughts? Help us to guard our thoughts, to take captive every thought, to make it, it obedient to you. Would you help us to guard our eyes, what we see? Would you help us to see not just in the natural? Would you help us to see what's happening in the supernatural? On social media, would you help us to see the darkness that the enemy is trying to bring, the darkness that just comes with this world? And would you help us to shine light into that darkness? Would you help us to use our mouths to speak light into darkness? Help us to use our ears to hear what you are saying and to speak what you are saying and not repeat what the enemy wants us to say or even what our flesh would want us to say. Help us to wear the helmet of salvation and to guard all of those things, our thoughts, our eyes, our ears, our ears, our mouth, even would you help us to smell you, Lord? That's a weird request, but that's one of the senses that I don't feel like I tap into you very often. So would you help me to do that, to smell, just to even smell things and to think of you? Um, I thank you for essential oil. <laughs> Help me, Lord, when I smell certain things to tap into what smells are happening in the throne room of heaven. Lord, would you keep us connected with you um, where you are seated high and lifted up, shining in the light of your glory. And then, Father, I bind all of these pieces of armor with your love. Perfect love casts out fear. It is your love that unites us together. And Lord, in a world that is so divided, so divided right now, I pray that we would cast out darkness, cast out fear, cast out hate, cast out division with your love. Would you help us to supernaturally love those around us, those that are close to us, but those, Lord, I feel such a burden with social media. Would you help us to recognize how the enemy is working, to recognize that we are not wrestling against flesh and blood, but that we're wrestling against principalities of darkness. And would you help us to chase out those principalities with your love? 
It is your perfect love that casts out fear. So would you help us to cast that out in the name of Jesus? It is your 1 Corinthians 13 love that confuses the enemy. So help us to walk in love um, and joy and peace and patience and kindness and goodness and 